What is going on, guys? Welcome back. Another morning stock investing video. Hope you enjoy your Sunday of football, by the way. But you can see, pretty green market the past couple days. Obviously, a lot of turmoil with the election. But you guys know, I'm a Weeble Preferred Influencer. Use that link down in the description. You get a free stock, and I will get a free stock. However, they're no longer doing the deposit more than $100 and get a stock value greater than 10 so just be mindful of that. But you can see, how did these all turn green, right? We were down on CVS. We were really down on NRO. We're still down on land. The only one that we're down, really, is Cladera, and that was a free stock that we got from Weeble. But I want to talk about how you get these back into the green, and one of the big things that you do is you buy when there is a dip. NRO right now, $3.99 per share. You can see we were buying at $4.10. We were going to lose on this, but we continued to dollar cost down. Weren't afraid. Buy at $3.80. Buy at $3.76. Buy at $3.75. Buy at $3.60. This is how you dollar cost average down. This is a real estate trust that I have faith in, even though it's a very inexpensive stock. It's got a history of doing rather well, and this is what helps grow our account. You know, there are some risks here, obviously, but you can see these dividends from places like CVS, from Realty Income, from Global Water. We're going to touch on that Cronus Worldwide, but this is an additional $6 in this account that I didn't have over the past couple months. And obviously, you guys know I started this account with just over $100. And here you can see we've got another payment coming in from CVS. This is what helps you make money in the market. You don't have these returns if you sell the stock. If you panicked when everything was red and you said, I have to get out now, I can't hold on to this anymore, and you took your loss, not only would you have lost money on the actual stock, you would have lost your opportunity for a return and also lost these dividend payments. When you look at Kronos, they declared again another 18 cent per share dividend. So this is going to be another close to $3 that we're going to have in our account. We can probably buy a share back of NRO at that point if the market turns down a little bit. But that's what you have to focus on. Long-term goals. I know there's a lot of doom and gloom. I know there's a lot of fear. But you know, you just have to go to some days not looking at it if that's what it takes. But I want to talk about the free shares because we hit a monster. I mean, I could not believe Teradyne. $102 value stock. This is a major player in semiconductors. This is a stock that I'm probably going to hold on to. When you look at where this stock is, it has done nothing but skyrocket. Now, there is some fear there. You know, there's obviously a number of opportunities it's pulled back. But when you look at this company, this is a 169 billion with a b billion dollar company they actually pay a dividend and they have just been absolutely on a tear up 413 percent the last five years people talk about oh you can just lose money in the stock market right do you really feel like if you had bought this stock and not that this is typical but if you'd bought the stock of even if it was at a $2 billion company back in 2017. I'm not sure where it was, but you could go look for $25. Yeah, there was a couple years where you would have came close if not lost money, right? Certainly you can follow that chart over. Even if you'd bought, let's say at $50. If you bought at $50 in 2018, you had a pretty good stretch from 2018 to 2019 and even into this year that you could have sold and lost money. But... If you held, if you trusted what you were doing in the market, if you believe in the decisions you make, if you take time to research on your own, what would that $50 have turned into? What would that $25 have turned into? Not only through a very small dividend, by the way, which a lot of tech companies don't pay dividends. When you guys see Tesla and companies like that, you know a lot of them don't pay out. Apple, Microsoft, they do, but the pure plays... You know, Teradyne, kind of the rare breed that's paying that. Now, you could have sold this to make money, or you can hold it. You can look at it and say, okay, in five years, it's went up 400%. Now, is it smart to say in another five years it's going to get up another 400%? Probably not. I, I would be happy if it floated up to maybe 125 130 but I've looked at what they do. I've looked at this. I've actually looked at their numbers. This is, by all accounts, an elite financially set company. I mean, they are absolutely making 
Very good profit. They are exceptionally managed. And although this is a stock that was never on my radar, getting this stock for free, I plan on absolutely holding this. I think this is going to be a play that probably will pull back a little bit. I could easily see this going back into the 80s, into the 90s, but I feel like if I hold this for the long term, it's going to be a stock that not only puts a lot of value into my account, actually matches pretty much what I put in the account to begin with, but will continue to grow and pay dividends, which like I've talked about from the beginning, that's what I've always been at, at my core. I am an investor, not a trader. I am investing in a company for the long term. The reward for that investment is the dividend payment, not selling the stock and making money, not panicking and selling the stock. That's what happens when you weigh risk versus reward. And when you can find ways to assess companies, purchase stocks, and even when things don't look good, stand your ground. You know, you think it's been easy watching my actual portfolio swing five, six, seven thousand dollars over the course of the last few months? Not at all. It's very nerve wracking. But at the same time, I have faith in my decisions, I trust in my investments, and I know that all it's doing is ultimately presenting me a better buying opportunity should I want to take advantage of it. Love to know your guys' thoughts on this. Love to know how things have been going for you in the market. Appreciate you watching it. And as I said, enjoy the rest of your morning. Enjoy the rest of your afternoon with football. I've got the, the Colts game was on Thursday, so I've got the day off from football. I don't have to really care about football as much as I normally would today. But I'll still watch it because you know I'm a fan. In the week with more commentary.